Hello, this is the True Report, and this is the True Report Worldwide. Two Whoppers for approximately $4 is what the price comes to. $2 Whoppers for $4. And here's the bag that they came in. Let's see what else I got in the bag. I did get some ketchup. And some napkins. And this bag right here. This is the True Report Worldwide. So I always make excellent videos with the best equipment that I have available as I'm traveling throughout the world. I realize sometimes things may get misplaced, they may be stolen. Uh, just the perils that happen when you are a traveler of the world, like me, the True Report. This would be in Mexico, and these in pesos were 85 pesos, which is going to come to roughly, approximately, four dollars. It's uh, approximately the same price as the United States of America. Uh, I would say it's about 20 percent less. There. Are Generally speaking, around 5 or $6 in the United States at this time. So, should we open them up? Let's do it. And welcome to the True Report. It's fantastic seeing you, being with you, my friends. And I just want to show you the best hamburger that Burger King has. The most famous hamburger is the Whopper. They're number one seller worldwide. Now I'm not here to judge, uh, jury, and be the executioner necessarily, but I am here to tell all the truth uh, about these fast foods, as they're called by the masses. They are definitely quite a bit of a uh, GMO in them, non-organic, genetically modified organisms. But sometimes when you're on the road and traveling, you may have to use these for survival and also the price as well. So approximately $2 each is what they cost with the two for $4 here in Mexico, which also comes to 85 pesos, eight five pesos. So here we go. I have walked to the Burger King at the city in Mexico that I'm at. And I walked back and then I did talk to several uh, foreigners outside and one inside. So let's see how this tastes. Shall we? Would you like to look inside first? I would. So let's check it out. I'll hold it in my clean hands, freshly washed. When you open it up, I see some lettuce, some tomato, and some onion. You can see the lettuce, and there's some on the other rest of the bun too, and the tomato. And you can see a little bit of onion right there. There, now you can see it a little better, huh? There it is. Yeah, right there. You can see it in a few places there by the pickle. Right there, sure. So lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. And pickles. Wow. Not bad. There's the hamburger patty. Lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions. There's the hamburger patty. I'll put that little piece of lettuce back on there. And there's the uh, top of the patty with sesame seeds. A little more lettuce and mayonnaise on there. Do we see what's under the bottom part? I uh, see some ketchup on the bottom part. There we go. Mostly just the bun. And 
than the hamburger itself. Quite a substantial burger, I must add, quite substantial. And so now we'll get into this, the true report worldwide, using the best facilities that I have traveling for you worldwide. And let's enjoy this hamburger together. I have not eaten in several hours. Uh, all I had this morning was um, some breakfast, which was around noonish. As I was preparing this video for you and deciding on what you would like, and I decided to pick one of the top hamburgers in the entire world. It is what it is, right? Uh, now, this is not all genetically modified organisms, non-organic. There's some organic in here that's going to slip through, right? Not everything is going to be that way, this way. So, But basically, it's a traditional Western hamburger from a Western fast food chain based in the United States of America, which is worldwide one of the biggest Burger King, the Whopper. A single patty of meat, just as it is. They were on sale, two for four dollars or two for 85 Mexican pesos. And let's dig right in. I've eaten nothing for several hours and it's uh, approximately, uh, well, it's almost uh, seven o'clock, about 6.45, it just turned. So let's go, shall we? Hmm. Wow. It's amazing. I'm drinking out of the cup right here. It says caliente or hot. Usually, I drink tea with my meal. It's kind of a neutral type endeavor. As I like to focus mainly on the food, but there will be other topics too that you want to talk about. You may want to know more about me, the True Report, worldwide. And I understand. And we can do that, of course. Let's have another bite, shall we? We'll use the Burger King napkins. Of course, I will fully rate this hamburger when I'm done. I hope you're enjoying this video. It is the first one of the True Report Worldwide. Shot to you live, almost, from Tijuana, Mexico. And um, I'm thinking about you, and I enjoy our friendship in complete and total reality. And I eat this hamburger on our mutual behalf. And if you are with me, my friend, and you are, this hamburger is yours, and it'll be here waiting for you forever. This is your hamburger. I will eat this one. I'm going to have a small sip on the green tea.
about halfway through now almost. I was very thirsty. There's quite a few entertaining things to do here in Tijuana, Mexico. It's an old city on the border beside San Diego, United States. A lot of people want to come to the United States and quite a few people still want to come to Mexico. Of course, you are always welcome to come to Mexico. You can walk across or drive across. There's not a problem. It's a little harder to go into the United States. If you do not have the proper documents, like an American passport or some other kind of passport that they accept, which changes time and again. Actually, the, the hamburger is pretty heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. And it's very um, sustaining to a certain degree. The hamburger does come well protected in this large piece of wax paper. Very big, big, big paper. Heavy duty wax paper, very clean. The ba paper bag is quite substantial as well and relatively green. And then remember, we did get um, three. Heinz ketchups, one, two, three, three ketchups. And after I eat this entire hamburger for a mutual benefit, then I will talk about the effects it had on me. And was it a uh, positive experience, negative, or somewhere in between? More green tea. Usually when you go to the restaurant, it's mostly the, the main thing, right? So I will deal specifically with the main thing. Before I finish this hamburger, I just want to say what a pleasure it is to be eating with you and to save this hamburger for you. And I'm extremely impressed that even though it's been a while, which a lot of times it would be for you too, right? If you got a hamburger to go, because it may take a while to get to your home, whether you're walking back or driving back. Etc. Maybe not. You may eat it there at the restaurant. Um, the restaurant was open to eat in, by the way, in Tijuana, Mexico. Just so you know that. I'm actually staying at the best place I've stayed in Tijuana. I've been here for a year working on this new show that I want to be real and authentic. I don't want it to be fake and phony. 
The true report for a reason. The true report. I was wondering how I could show my appreciation to you and to the people that I buy from to produce these great food items like this, one of the top hamburgers in the world, the most popular in the world. And I make it relevant and new and exciting. At the same time, I put you through the same experience that you would be going through eating this food, which happens to be a Burger King Whopper, a single Whopper Burger King. No extras were ordered. It came with the lettuce, the tomato, the onion, the pickle, some mayonnaise, and some ketchup. Heavily packed, so if you ate one, say for lunch or dinner, or breakfast if you ate breakfast later, you could save it. I believe a Burger King, it depends, some of the Burger Kings in the United States, in the morning, you could you could get a, 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 a Burger King, a um, Whopper. You could always order hamburger at Burger King, 24-7 at some places in the United States. This is the first time I've made a video with True Report. So I'm looking now at the camera, and I've never used this electronic device before to make a video of myself, but I hope it meets your expectations, and I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you enjoy the Burger King Whopper experience, two for four dollars, or two for 85 pesos Mexican. We're almost done now. We'll pour a little bit more green tea, which I think is a uh, a neutral player in the game, right? You would probably, usually, and so would I, be drinking something with the food. Not always, but usually, right? Very good to have a little bit of liquid to wash it down with, to stay hydrated and keep things moving along. Have about one bite to go. Let me say this, I think the Mexican hamburger for Burger King is a little bit better than most places in the United States. It seems a little bigger and it seems to be very well put together with the right amount of lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and onions, and mayonnaise, and ketchup. And it did come with three extra ketchups, which I did not ask for. I did not ask for those three ketchups. They put it in there. I just ordered, like most of us would order, most of you would order, generally speaking. You know, it's on a busy weekend, a holiday weekend, the 4th of July. And, you know, I needed to order something quick. There's lineups. And I just ordered what was on the menu. And that's the most famous hamburger that Burger King has, and one of the most famous in the world, the Whopper Single Burger.
I did not order anything extra. I did not order anything except two Whoppers. That's all. Just clean up a little bit here, but uh, most of it is pretty good. So how did you feel about that? So let me tell you how I felt. I felt very, very good. I realize now in the world we have more revelation that organic is the way to go. I realize that. And hopefully Burger King one day will make an organic burger. Perhaps they do. I'm sure they have. I did see the veg burger there at Burger King, but I had not seen any organic burger or organic fries. They did have some fresh cut fries in Tijuana, or you could have the regular fries. Fries are actually a really big deal in Mexico, especially in Tijuana, close to the border, just so you know. So there were some fresh cut fries there, I noticed, because you can see the potato skins on them um, that you can order as well. Um, this burger was very satisfying for what it is, right? I do notice that the bun is a little sweeter than in the United States. In other words, it had more sugar in the bread, which is sort of a Mexican thing because in Mexico, People, generally speaking, eat a lot more sugar than the United States. Let's have a little bit more tea. In the caliente cup, which means hot, as many of you know, in English. So, for my first review of the Burger King, which I've eaten for a long time, the Whopper, for many, many, many years, uh, before I had the revelation of organic foods. Um, still, I want to do the right thing and be in the reality zone that not everybody can eat organic because of cost, because of a lot of things being closed down right now, um, and for a lot of restaurants being to-go only, and for the price. Really, organic food should be less because you're not using the genetically modified seeds, which cost money, and you're not using the pesticides and the chemical fertilizers. So organic should be less. There's a lot of organic food in Mexico, and there's getting to be more in the United States. But let's just rate this the way it is. A GMO hamburger, one of the most popular in the world, from 1 to 10, how do I rate it? I'm going to give it a solid 5. I could go higher, but I won't because everything was fine except that nothing in it was organic. If they could like make a minor improvement, like say the pickle was organic, or the, all the vegetables, the lettuce, the tomatoes, the onions were organic. I understand the cost. I get it. But there can be some farmer out there who will sell certain Burger King establishments in the world organic produce. I know, I'm sure there's plenty of organic, um, at least partially organic, Burger King hamburgers in the world. But as from a GMO perspective, from it tasting good, and being so, so good for you. It will keep you alive. I mean, there are people that have lived in um, places where they could not get away from. They were locked up uh, in prison, for example, and they, they ate a can of Campbell's soup a day, a third in the morning, a third in the afternoon, a third at night, just one can of Campbell's soup with nothing else. That's it. Nothing else to eat. 
and they did it for like uh, over 40 years, like Hurricane Carter did that when he was in prison in the United States. So, and then um, when he got out, him and his wife, I believe he was married in prison. I believe he was, or else he got married when he came out of prison. Um, but he was married with his wife and moved with his wife to Canada after that. And he did get a small amount of money for being in prison for over 40 years, which is around the $300,000 mark, which is a really minute amount, considering that he never committed any crime. He was completely exonerated from his crime. Uh, a lot of it was due to the song Bob Dylan wrote, wrote a song called The Hurricane. If you haven't heard that song, I recommend you really like it. <clears throat> uh, perhaps I could sing you a little couple of words from it. This is the story of the hurricane. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good song. It's a pretty good song. So the authorities came to get him and his Whopper. No, not his Whoppers. He wasn't, he wasn't eating any Whoppers in prison. He was just eating Campbell's soup for 40 years. But the camel soup, the GMO camel soup, kept him alive for 40 years, and that's quite amazing. He never left his cell. He even bathed in his cell to avoid the problems of being in the general population. Yeah, and he did have a cell by himself eventually. Um, just my point is that you can live a long time on GMO foods, but for the environment, for yourself, for your own personal environment, for your spirit, soul, and body, it's best to have organic. Do I do that very much? Some. I eat a lot of street food in Mexico. Most of it's been good. Um, so some of that is organic. Maybe hard to say. 50%. I hope you enjoyed the true report. I love being with you. And I'll see you more in the future as we do more True Report Food Reviews together from around the world. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Thumbs up.